Hey yo, skip one here. Back at it. I don't make videos anymore. I think I said that intro already. But uh I'm just putting this out there for reference if anybody needs it cuz I know I was looking for ones that uh when I was trying to do this for my uh I'm going to call I'm going to re I'm going to introduce this vehicle later maybe in a couple videos but it's my daily SQ-ish vehicle. Let's just call it that. But I want to I want to kind of make a a video on uh quick and dirty how to how to get your car sounding better it's going to be using a couple different things that you need to buy to do it but i promise you if you do it i'm not going to say my i i don't know what i'm doing anyway I, i'm learning as i'm going but if you do what i tell you in this video your system should sound better than when you're started unless you just got some godly i don't know something freakish thing that happened but this should sound the way the music was supposed to be represented on a song. So what you need and what I have, you're going to need a mic, a microphone, a USB microphone, or they, I think they have one for the phone too also, but you're going to need a laptop and you're going to need to download Roo, Room EQ Wizard. So what you're going to do is you're going to be taking frequency frequency responses of your system playing pink noise <coughs> which you also need to get <coughs> but that's anywhere you can download apps that have it on your phone i'm going to run it off of bluetooth uh from my phone and um but you're going to be playing pink noise through basically everything all of your speakers so it's playing every frequency in the range and you're going to be taking a response of your uh vehicle inside car that makes sense but you're gonna uh so you're gonna be taking some readings and you're gonna make graphs <clears throat> and it's gonna show what your vehicle is sounding like now don't be alarmed your first reading is gonna be all over the map so that's where that's where you can get away like this radio has some pretty decent uh features for tuning yeah basically you're gonna want a parametric eq which i have and you can't see by that because everything's dirty i have in the form of a dayton dsp 408 i think <clears throat> so i can you know it, it's the best budget one i could come out with I, I, I there's different ones out there there's more expensive ones out there but for your basic like i said down and dirty uh system this is what you're gonna this is what you're gonna get it's 150 dollars it's got 10 bands for each channel so you know it's ready to go um <clears throat> but i'm gonna go through the process that i think i know how <laughs> and if you do this process your system your system will sound better I, I, it just will so let's get to it all right so like i said you're gonna need to download rew room eq and uh and you're gonna want to hook up your mic which is right here <clears throat> and, and, really 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 and um so the first step from what i'm told is you want to you want to level match each side uh, of your uh, car. So what I'm going to do here, I have my Dayton DSP hooked up. All right, so I'm going to mute everything but my driver. Tweet. So I got my EQ set to flat. And I think I'm, we're going to play this at like, let's say volume 20. And I'm going to take my mic and I'm going to record around my head where my listening position is and get a level get a db level reading on this room eq you're gonna so you're gonna want to open up rew room eq click the r uh rta tab click you're gonna want to uh record some frequency responses so let's go to uh we're gonna play our noise, our pink noise, which I'm doing off of Audio Tool 
uh, Bluetooth. All right, so we'll click, hit record. And you're gonna wanna make, move the mic around your head to get the listening position. You know, just do a couple, couple passes. I usually go to like 30 averages or something like that. It's probably not that necessary. You know, you can leave it there for a second. Leave it there for a second. All right. So then we stop. Stop our noise. And then click save. <clears throat> so that saved our response for uh, the driver side tweeter at volume 20. See, in this thing, uh, uh, we'll go to that later. But now we're going to do the other side. So we're going to mute. What do I have this as? That's my driver mid. So we're going to unmute. No, not that. We're going to mute our driver tweet in mid. And we're going to unmute <coughs> our passenger mid. And we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to see how close they are. So RTA. Un pause our pink noise. And record. Okay, this one's a little bit lower. see click all SPL so you see all of them and you can see the difference uh, this one's quite a bit louder I guess you can see see they kind of follow the same curve back here but right here man it's a big gap so let's try to maybe we're gonna try to EQ all of this to average but let's try to <clears throat> bump down the uh, driver's driver's uh, tweet uh, a, a little bit whoops wrong button let's go so this mute that unmute that and maybe let's try let's try 2db and see where it takes us same volume same everything else RTA I, I don't know. I click reset averages. I don't know if you do or not. Have to or not. But let's play our pink noise. You are weaving. Too much let's see so we'll save this and then we'll see where it put us all right see that's a lot better look how much see how better that is matched up down here versus that so even that and i forgot to mention make sure you do all your time alignment before you do any of this which i have done but you see how they follow they, they're pretty they're close man see they're pretty close already, you know. This dip probably can EQ out this one for sure. But then after here, you know, they follow this similar curve. <coughs> so I think that looks good. So uh, maybe should I bump it up a little bit? No, that's pretty close. I feel like that's pretty close. So let's leave that there for the levels and then we'll come back with the EQ.